Today on Logan Lee Adventures. After being in landlocked African countries the past few weeks, we are now being refreshed by the ocean in Mozambique. That's right, the former Portuguese colony on the sliver of Africa is a new country I'm going to explore with my boyfriend. Uh, uh, Mozambique visa and new stamp. We made it into Mozambique after a lot of bureaucracy. But the border that we chose is quite empty, so we are basically the only ones uh, there. So no lines, which was nice. And lots of forms to fill out. Uh, had to get another insurance for the car. And then got our shiny new visas and stamps. So now we're in. And we're heading towards Maputo. So apparently Maputo is a province that we're already in, but Maputo City is the capital city that we're driving to and it's going to be about, I think it's a two hour drive. We made it to Maputo and we just checked into our beautiful guest house. So I just want to show you guys around this gorgeous property. It's called the Live-In Guest House, which is just right outside of the city center of Maputo, but it's right along the beautiful ocean, Indian Ocean coast. So I'm gonna show you guys around. So first, we walk through here. Oh, there's my Thank you. <laughs> and how lush and green this place is. I love this. And it's like a really beautiful boardwalk as well. You come here into this beautiful shaded area. Don't you love the red, red color of it? And then there's this pool, really nice pool that you can chill out on. All right, now that was where we're living right now for the night, living stay. But what do we do always when we reach to a new city, a new country, a new continent? Not a new continent because we've been in Africa for a while, but Mozambique, Maputo. We always check out the food. Let's go eat. We're at a restaurant called Costa del Sol and it's right on the boulevard with the beach. You can see in the background. Even though it's 33 degrees outside right now, which means my skin should be melting off, we're sitting outside and the Indian Ocean breeze is keeping us quite cool, like really cool down. So this is a well-known seafood restaurant in Maputo and we are we just ordered a few things just to try them out for lunch, so let's see what we get. Crab cakes, but like yeah. in prawn, prawn version. We should try it. Oh my god, guys, our seafood platter had, uh, has arrived, and look at this monster. Wow! So here we have crispy fried calamari, uh, what looks like clams, and then we have, no, wait, crispy fried squid and then we have calamaris and then we have prawns over here and then we have this big slap of fish right here in between rice and fries what this is insane this looks so good here we go squeeze that all over This cool building of an architecture is called St. Antonio Catholic Church. Look at this. This looks like a very cool sprouting points everywhere. The building has the shape of an inverted flower and is popularly known as the lemon squeezer. Since being out in nature and on the road, we saw more zebras and giraffes than man-made architecture. But now being in the bustling capital of Maputo, wonderful structures surround us everywhere. I finally get to quench my thirst for architecture thanks to this wonderful city.
We're here at the beautiful train station in Maputo. And we're just wandering around, looking at the beautiful leftover of a colonial architecture from the Portuguese style. And this train station is beautiful. You see the little details everywhere and how it felt, feels like you step back in time almost. It is an active and busy train terminal still being used today, connecting Mozambique by rail with South Africa, Swaziland, and Zimbabwe. The heart of Mozambique capital is the bustling, low-lying Baixa, which is, means Old Town, spreading out north and east from the port. With its Mediterranean-style architecture, waterside setting, and wide avenues lined with jacanda and flame trees, Maputo is easily one of Africa's most underrated capitals. We are in the central market now in Maputo, and it's housed in this old beautiful building as well. Tons of veggies around. We are now in the old fort of Maputo. So the old fort is right in smack middle of the downtown center of Maputo, but it's left over, of course, behind from the colonial era. And so you can see all these old cannons everywhere. Ooh, let's go up and see what it looks like from here. <laughs> this old machine gun. Oh yeah. Whoa. Hey Maputo, watch out! Whoa. Jeez. It's pretty cool that you can like hold it and grab it. <laughs> You're allowed to touch it here. All right, we film you. Oh, you picked it up. Okay. Well, it can't be that heavy. I mean, I just had a really good seafood. Right. Oh. You see the bulging biceps? Yeah. Oh. Jesus. It's quite heavy, isn't it? You can see how that could take down a building. Or a pirate ship, I don't know, Portuguese. Colonial style landmarks dot this whole capital. What's there not to love here? Though in contrast, today with huge iconolastic concrete structures reflect the politics of that time in Mozambique when Cuba, Russia, and North Korea were allies. The architecture of Maputo tells the city's stories better than any history book, and the contemporary structures that are springing up today are a testament to the current state of play. Some draw on the heritage of the past, the heady days of modernism, in their style. There are also Dubai-style, Chinese-funded buildings on the horizon. It has come a long way since tracing its origins to a Portuguese fort established on this site in 1781. The City Hall building is with a trapezoid layout situated on a hill so it become automatically the focal point of the Samara Macau Avenue which connects the independent square with the city's downtown area. Maputo, formerly Portuguese rural Lorenzo Marx, is the laid-back capital, an incongruous mix of palm-lined streets, an elegant promenade with ritzy villas, and once grand colonial buildings, which often sit side by side by shanties and concrete, Soviet-style buildings dating back to the 1950s when Russia and Cuba had a finger in the political pie here. By Maputo's neoclassical city hall, a magnificent building stands. The art, the art deco construction projected by Portuguese architect Marcel Freitas Acosta was inaugurated in 1944, replacing the old cathedral. 
morning guys, so we are out here in Makutu and we are just right along the coast of the city as you can see the gorgeous Indian Ocean right there and we checked out this morning from our guest house and we are back in our favorite restaurant Costa del Sol and we are gonna dive right into some really yummy food just to start off the day before we kick off on our Mozambique road trip so let's begin On this delicious sweet note, we're signing off. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Say hello in the comments below and give this video a like. We'll see you in the next vlog for more tropical, sunny side loving Mozambique.